right now, a new video capturing the moment a 13-year-old confesses to stabbing his mother to death as his newborn baby sister lies inches away from it all. Crime specialist Bridget Matter joins us live from Miami with the very disturbing new details in this case. Bridget. 13-year-old Derek Rosa did answer some investigators' questions about the murder of his mother. He even said he used, used a large kitchen knife. But when police asked him why, he wouldn't answer. 13-year-old Derek Rosa is charged in the murder of his own mother, Arena Garcia, accused of stabbing her 46 times inside their Hialeah home. You killed her? All right. What type of knife was it? Do you know? It was just a big size kitchen knife. That big? Yeah. What color was the, the, the handle? Purple. Purple? Yes. Okay. Uh, your mom was sleeping? Yeah, she was sleeping. Newly released police interrogation video shows the teen calmly talking to investigators, even showing him his bloodied hands. The audio of this video was previously played during a court hearing. Rosa was seen breaking down as he listened. A baby monitor captured Rosa standing over his mother before the brutal attack. She had defensive wounds on her hands. On her back, she had numerous uh, stab wounds. Police described stab wounds all over her body. The only part that was not stabbed was behind her knees. Where exactly did you cut her? Portions of the tape are redacted, but Rosa points to his neck. And then she woke up? Yes. Did you say anything else to her? Did she say anything to you or no? No, she just screamed. Investigators say the teen sent photos of the crime scene and a photo of himself to an online friend. You were about to tell me the why. Why did you uh, kill your mother? Do you know? I have to say it now. Yeah, get it off your chest. Absolutely. Can only friend all you. Rosa would not give police a reason for the attack. The motive remains unknown. Rosa is being charged as an adult. A tentative trial date is set for February of next year. We're live in Miami. Bridget Matter, Local 10 News. So disturbing and so chilling. Thanks a lot there, Bridget. We're